I want to be the best Muslim I can, and I would like to. To I'd like to. I. It makes me feel good to see when other people have reverted because I, I'm thinking like you don't realise how good of steps you have just made in the right direction. Like you, you don't know it yet, mm-hmm. but you have just helped yourself massively. You know, like sure. there's going to be tests come regardless of what religion you are, anyways. Mm-hmm. And yes, you're going to be tested. No, it might not be easy, mm-hmm. but for me. I just I, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, if, if somebody asked my life advice, it's actually quite simple now. I'd say, have you read the Quran? You know, I'd start there. I buy and sell watches. Aside from buy and sell watches, what else? I buy and sell watches. I buy and sell tickets for events, and I've just started back boxing, and I keep up my prayers. Mashallah. Let's talk about that. As you mentioned the prayers, right? I don't want to. Um, you've mentioned it on quite a few podcasts. Your mm-hmm. reversion to Islam, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I will we'll touch over basically like what happened, sort of thing. And I'm going to relate it to business as well. So tell us, like, how did the whole reversion of Islam happen? Completely unexpected. Never, ever did I think in my life would I ever become a Muslim or, or would I ever become religious even. Mm-hmm. I was out with my friend. His name's Danny. Danny Dean. Um, another uh, jeweler. Buys and sells watches in Hatton Garden. We was out in my dad's helicopter yep. for the day. And uh, um, yeah, Aston Martin helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Yep. We was out because he, he was on my case. Oh, I take this one out. You take that one out. You won't take me out. I said, "Come on, right, no problem. We we'll go." I've managed to organise it. Rung my dad. Right, let's take it out. We ends up going to Cornwall and coming back. He said, All "Right, I've got to be back at a certain amount of time because my mum's going to take her shahada." Well, we was all together anyway. I said, "Well, go on. We'll all come." You know, ain't a problem, is it? No, no problem. Because I didn't understand it. Yeah. So I've got in there and I genuinely felt something in the mosque that I've never felt anywhere. Anywhere at all. So I thought, I'm right. And, and the thoughts that I was having was amazing. Like, imagine having God behind you. That was the sort of thing I was thinking. Now, to go into detail would, would, would be difficult for me now, but it was something yeah. that I haven't experienced ever. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 I looked at uh, my friend Daniel. I said, like, wow, like, I can't believe what's just happened to me. Do you know what I mean? He said, like get me a Quran and let me read it and then every page I was just felt it was so relatable and I was so compatible with what was in the Quran I said I think I want to take my Shahada Mm -hmm. and then I thought you know what I'm going to read it again I read it again started talking about it and then I looked and thought what a beautiful community what a beautiful simple religion and this can help me in this life and the next so I thought it's a no brainer so at the point when you first went into the mosque when your friend's mum was taking in shahada, to her shahada, yeah. to her shahada, to you know you actually taking your shahada, mm. what was that time? How long was that? Six weeks. So you read the whole Quran in that six weeks. Twice. Twice, and then you decided. What made you actually decide? Because there's one thing seeking knowledge and reading the holy book of Islam, and then there's one thing of like, do you know what? I want to join this. Mm. So there was it a tick ticking moment that made you actually want to become a Muslim? Yeah, that that the that that feeling that I got in the mosque and anything else only God can answer. Yeah, yeah, fair play. And this is where I want to revert it back to, yeah, and how I wanted to revert it to business. A lot of people that I speak to, whether they're Muslim or you know whether they follow a religion, they they conduct business in almost like a different type of way. So I want to ask: Has your help? Have you has your reversion to Islam? made you conduct business or yourself in a different way as to before if i had to give an example you know owning a nightclub in islam you probably couldn't do that because you know, it involves parties and whatnot so has it made you think about conducting business in a different way as compatible um not to say that you're doing anything anyway that was against islam but like just listen, has it made you think i'm only a student i'm still learning mm-hmm. be aware i will probably make loads of mistakes yeah. and I will hold my hands up to every single one I'm not perfect only God is perfect as you well know mm-hmm. and like I say I will make mistakes and thankfully I will try to make them as minimal and as less as possible because I've got some very good people around me to point and steer me in the right direction of course and my intentions are extremely good I feel it in my heart mm-hmm. that's the main thing you know, I feel it like if I do make a mistake or I do do something wrong, I do feel it in my heart. Now, that's what I never really had that before. Not but now I'm conscious 
yeah. of doing something wrong, yeah. which makes me feel like you know it's it's, it's powerful stuff. No, so, it's very difficult for me to explain what's inside, but um, not not really. Obviously, there's there, there's rules and guidelines, and I will do my utmost best to stick to them. Now, that's what matters. Mm -hmm, of course. Yes. I'm only a student in the religion, but I will do my best to learn as much as I can and be the best Muslim I can. You know, you get you hit the nail on the head with that, with that answer. You know, you can't ask for anything different other than what no. you just said. Exactly that. And also on that note as well, I spoke to, I've got, I got quite a few revert mates, mm -hmm. right? And when they revert, they, they want to, they, they say Islam is the truth. So they want to revert the people around them as well. Have you ever had the conversation with your dad or how do you think he'd take it? Would you want to revert your dad? Like your friends say, I'd like to revert everybody. Mm -hmm. Because I believe it's the truth. Of course. I believe it's the path of righteousness and I believe it can help everybody in areas they wouldn't believe. Yeah. But, you know... Um, all in God's timing, basically. Like, listen, if it's meant to be, it will be. Yeah. For me, I'm very grateful that the religion was brought to me mm -hmm. and I accepted it and God's made my path extremely easy. He has. You know, I've had a little bit of backlash, what I expected. But from every Muslim brother, all I've had is love. Like? You know, there's been a few trolls on, on social media. I'm sure, I'm sure you get it yourself. You know, racist people, bored racist people. Yeah. People that have got nothing in their life apart from, you know, or, or, or people that maybe dislikes me anyway. Now they've got another reason. To not like to, to to point the finger and call names, yeah, which ne never really has bothered me because again, like I say, I'm I try my best to be a good person, and I wasn't a bad person before. And uh, do you know what? I said to my dad on on a podcast previously because we, you know, the Muslim thing uh, uh, um, came well, up. It came up, and um, cut a long story short, we was getting asked questions to and throw and. I said to my dad, Dad, like, what do you think? Do you think it's made me a better person? And he stopped and he went, I don't think it's made you a better person, which is not an insult because I, d I don't believe I was a bad person. Yeah. I wasn't a bad person. I'm definitely now, I would say I'm definitely a better person, like yeah. personally. Yeah. But he said, no, but what I would say is enhanced you as a person, which I think was 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 a great way of saying, of it. saying it. Yeah. Because it has. Yeah. It's made me want to do better, made me enjoy doing better things. When you have kids eventually, will you bring them up with Islam? Of course. Yeah? Of course. You know, I wouldn't want to restrict them. And listen, if they got older, I would leave my kids to do what they wanted. But I would try and direct them down the Islamic path. Yeah. Because it's helped me. It does help me on a day-to-day -day basis. Every single day that I wake up. You know, before I, I used to, like, to get up. And pray Fajr is a beautiful thing. I feel good all day. It's made me appreciate what I have got and still want more. But if I don't get it, I'm happy with what I've got. I'm appreci I appreciate having air in my lungs and being alive. Now, I've never felt like that in my whole life. So you don't think of it like that, do you? No, but now I do. Yeah. How long have you been buzzing for now? Uh, since September would 2022. You, would you say it's almost feel like a rebirth? Um, I wouldn't say so much a rebirth. Um, it, you know, it, it doesn't. It, it feels like I've had my eyes covered. You know, like I feel so like I, I can't, I can't even, I can't. I genuinely, it's such a hard feeling for me to explain. Um, I just feel better. I want to do more. Everything seems easy. When something don't go right, I don't feel so bad. I'm not so harsh on myself. Mm. You know, I look tomorrow's another day. If I wake up tomorrow, great. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You know? Yeah. Like what what I am just so grateful for what I've got now. I'm I'm still dry, striving and pushing to get more. But regardless, I'm happy with what I've got. I'm so appreciative of what I've got. And before I wasn't. Mm. Before I was like, oh, why ain't I here? Why ain't I there? Why won't this go right? Why won't that go right? You know, now I'm looking, oh thank thank God I'm alive. And thank God my family's healthy. Alhamdulillah. Thank God I'm here on your podcast. <laughs> Alhamdulillah for that you one. You know? <laughs> no, I get what you're saying, man. That's what I'm saying. You're grateful about everything 
when when you have Islam in your heart, you're grateful about everything. Anything that goes wrong, you're like, Alhamdulillah. Anything that goes right, you're like, Alhamdulillah. You're grateful exactly. for it all. Exactly. You are where you are today. Hmm. You know, you've become a man, you've become an inshallah, you become a better person as you keep growing. But there's many youth obviously watching this, looking at your name, Alfie Best, Rich, you know, Muslim. How would you advise those youngsters looking up to you and saying, you know what, they want to become like you or your type of, you know, ilk? Follow your dean. Mm. Because that's what took me to my next step. Mm. That's what pushed me further. And that's what made, I'd like to say made life's not easy, it's far from easy, but it made it easier. Easier. It's as easy as you believe that it is, and mm. you know it settled my mind beautifully. You know, so I'd start there. Start with your dean first, yeah, because mm, you obviously didn't have that. You had obviously a father figure, or whatever. But since you've become Muslim, you're saying that has propelled you absolutely a bit more. It's just made everything feel so. It make every. It's a feeling, and it's made everything feel so much easier. Mm. Made me want to do more. What I have missed, it's fine. Mm. And prior to that, they will say, "Well, but you already had a good life." I had a beautiful life. Mm. So why not just keep it like that? They will probably think, because there's many youngsters, as you know, into Instagram is just full of it, driving the right cars and holidays. and. Well, I was out. I, before I was Muslim, obviously I used to drink, obviously I used to go out mm. partying. So I would, you know, it's not that I want to say that that's the right way, but I was going and I enjoy myself more now as a Muslim doing less. Mm. If that makes sense. Yeah, of course. Like, I enjoy my life now more doing less than when I did before. All of that. Yeah. Mm. And it makes, like I say, what I'm doing easier. Okay. Yeah. But it's crazy because everyone chases that. Mm. Everyone chases what you're saying you've left. <laughs> That's the crazy part is you're saying this, someone might watch it, but still in their brain, they think you're lying to them. They think you're trying to, you know, hold the gate and say, nah, you know, it's not fun there, but it's, it is really fun there. Does that make sense? I've had it, some I've had some fun. But what I'm telling you is I enjoy myself more mm, by doing less. Mm, like there's you know, I appreciate going for a nice meal, opening a fast at Ramadan. Mm, oh my god. Looking, waiting for the clock to count down to get a mouthful of water in your mouth. Mm, That's enjoyment. The simple thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm, like a glass of water, you are literally looking at the clock like that. Oh my god, waiting. Do you know what? There was days I even had water, like I'm looking at it. <laughs> Like this, you know what I'm saying? Looking at it, ready to like, honestly, I was ready to pounce on it. You know what I mean? You know that last minute? Seems like an hour, isn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> just waiting for that last if minute. If there was a clock in the room, you'd be counting, I'm telling you. I'm saying that off in terms of, I mean, one thing is they haven't experienced they're seeking that, but they haven't experienced yeah, what, my point. What, what Alf has got in terms point. of Islam. Yeah, exactly. But Alf, you know, Allah's bless you with wealth. Do you see a contradiction in being a good Muslim? And let's say being wealthy. That's again for the viewers. Can you be a wealth, wealthy, rich person and be a good Muslim? Yeah, more for the, what do you think? From the Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I think it's easier if you've got wealth to be a good person. It's easy. It's easy to have morals when you've got money in your pocket and food on the table. Now, I say that straight as it is because you've got everything. Think about when you've got to go and feed a family. That's when you start questioning and thinking about your morals. Do you understand where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, deep. In fact, scholars had a discussion, who's a better Muslim, a rich Muslim or a poor Muslim? And they said the rich Muslim, yeah, we're talking about financial wealth, who is grateful to Allah, uses his or her wealth in the right way, is better than a poor one. Because now if Allah's given you more, you can actually do more mm. in terms of good deeds and charity and Absolutely. so on. So yeah, no, no, alhamdulillah, man. Mm.